Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa King. Cheers. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me this morning for a nice cup of coffee. Um, so as always, Honeybee Wellnesses, or mon- ah, Monday Morning Coffee is sponsored by Honeybee Wellnesses one-on-one health coaching program. So as I mentioned a few weeks ago, We are now offering a six week program and this is great if you've worked with me in the past or you had healthier lifestyle habits in the past, but the last year or whatever has happened in your life has caused you to kind of maybe put them on the back burner temporarily. Um, So I've designed this program specifically for that. It's kind of like a reboot. Um, So we'll uh, talk about your goals and I will help you guide you through a process of helping you learn what the best way is for you to get back on track with some healthy, sustainable lifestyle habits that will help support your long-term fitness goals. So of course, we still offer our 12-week one-on-one coaching, health coaching program that's also available. And with both programs, you still get access to our online wellness abundance program, which as you all know, is our education portion of the, uh, of my health coaching program. So you'll learn all about like, uh, what a whole food eating style looks like, what getting proper sleep can look like, getting vitamin D, your tribe, all that really great stuff. And of course that is a standalone product. Um, you could invest just in the online wellness abundance. However, what I found is that people need the health coaching. They find it very beneficial because it's hard to make changes. It's hard to make changes. It's hard to create new habits. I myself have a health coach. Yep. A health coach needs a health coach. So I really benefit from working with my health coach. He's helped me through a lot of health challenges that I've had the last few months. So Okay, let's dive right in. You could, if you want to learn more, we'll hop on a phone call. Just email me, Melissa at honeybee.kitchen. Go to my website, melissaking.net, and you could set up a free discovery call and we'll chat for 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so I want to talk about a quote from Tony Stark from the Captain America Civil War movie. This is honestly one of my favorite Marvel movies. This is probably in my top five. There's a lot of Marvel movies out. This is definitely in my top five, this uh, uh, Captain America Civil War. So Tony Stark says, it's not enough to be against something. You have to be for something better. And I love that. And, And Civil War is an interesting movie if you're a Marvel fan, an MCU fan. It's interesting because Iron, you know, it's basically Iron Man versus uh, Captain America. Or, uh, Captain America and the Avengers are basically at war with each other because of these um, accords from this event that happened. I won't get into details with the movies, but so they're kind of butting heads with what to do on how to really protect the world and what they could do as superheroes. And they both both sides have very valid points, very, very valid points. So I really like what uh, Tony Stark says. It's not enough to be against something. You have to be for something better. So one thing I hear a lot of people say to me is I I don't want to be anxious anymore. I don't want to be depressed anymore. I don't want to, I want to, I, I don't want to eat all the junk food anymore. I don't want to eat all the processed food. I don't want to feel sick anymore. I don't want to be fat anymore. I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to be obese. I hear all these things, what I, what you don't want to be, what people don't want to be. I say it too. Like, I don't want to be anxious all the time. So I found personally, and when working with clients that when you flip the switch, you change the story you're telling yourself and you focus on, like Tony says, you have to be for something better. What is that thing that's better? Do you want to have more mental clarity? Do you want to get better quality sleep? Do you want to have consistent energy levels throughout the day? Do you want to buy smaller clothes that fit better? Or do you want to simply 
fit better into your pair of your favorite pair of jeans that maybe are fitting just a little bit snug right now. Like, what do you want? Like really focus on like the bigger picture. What are you, how are you going to benefit from making these healthy, creating these healthier, sustainable lifestyle habits? How are you going to benefit? What's going to improve in your life? What's going to be better? Are you going to have more energy? Are you going to be able to attend to your kids more? Are you going to be able to attend to your business better? I know when I don't sleep, when I don't move my body frequently, when I'm not taking care of myself, I'm not prioritizing self-care in the morning, I have no mental focus or very little mental focus to really focus on my business and what I need to do to grow my business, but also to help you to be a better service to you and a better health coach to you. So... I struggle with this a lot when my anxiety levels are very high, which they have been recently um, because of just some, some life events happening and it's just a part of life, you know, these events. And, but I have learned ways in which I can take control over my anxiety and I can, I, I know that I feel better when I eat whole real nutrient dense foods. I know that I feel better when I'm not up till 11 o'clock staring at a screen. I know that I feel better when I get up in the morning and I move my body regardless of what that looks like. Even if it's just a simple yoga or mobility or anything like that, or just going for a 10 to 15 minute walk. I know that. So what are you for? I know we're all against getting disease. You know, if you have a chronic disease, PCOS, um, diabetes, type two diabetes, anything, I know you're against that, but what are you for? What do you want in your life? And I encourage you to focus on that. And then remember, always reach out to me. I want to hear about like what you want in your life. What do you visualize your life looking like after You've accomplished your health goals. Like, do you feel better? Can you go run three miles? Are you going to enter a 5K race or a 10K race? Are you, do you want to hike a specific trail in your area? Whatever it is, really just hone in on that and focus on that and be for something better. Focus on being a better person. Focus on being a healthier person. Focus on being a woman who has way more mental clarity than she ever has and way more consistent energy levels throughout the day. What do you have? And focus on like you feel so confident in your own skin. You feel lean. You look lean. And you have some muscle tone. You have some strength. Focus on what you feel like. Don't just focus on, oh, I want to mitigate this disease I have. I want to get rid of my diabetes. Don't focus on that. Don't focus on that. Focus on what you can be. Recognize that that's what has triggered this, triggered your um, motivation to, you know, create these healthy life, healthier lifestyle habits, but just push that aside and focus on, like Tony Stark said, focus on being for something better. Okay. So I'm going to read Tony Stark's quote one more time from Captain America Civil War. It's not enough to be against something. You have to be for something better. So what are you for? That's better. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe below and remember, go to my website, melissaking.net to sign up for our weekly newsletter. You get some education, some inspiration, some fun stuff. And it's always changing and there's always new content. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for you and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers. I'll see you you guys soon.